Welcome to Mercy's Little Show. My name is Mercy and this is my little show. These are my top picks for 2014. Listen, these, in my opinion, these are my picks. Um, if you don't like them, make a video. Top 5 movies for 2014. Number 5 is Maleficent. Um, I love this movie because it's not the traditional story that we all know of. Um, next up we have Box Jewels. Oh, I don't have the DVD for that. Um, just, it, it has so much emotion just packed in just in that movie. And I, I love the movie. Um, next up we have Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, we're... Sorry guys. Um, how do I explain it? It's out of all I, I love the turtles and you know I've seen all the incarnations and all, all of them this movie right here <laughs> makes me love the turtles even more next up we have Guardians of the Galaxy um, it has, this has so much action in it and it took nobody like some of the characters that are nobodies and like made them big um, next up we have Big Hero 6 when we went to go watch this in the movie theater you know we were completely blown away and okay, so everybody in my family <laughs> has different tastes in the movies so this had you know a little bit for everybody you know, when we went to go watch it in the movie theater we were like wide eyed and it, it just blew us away these are my top three picks um, comic book picks for miniseries um, number three Hold on. number three is Anderson um, Judge Red Anderson side division Oh, I'm picking him. Um, if you want to learn more about these, I had to do a review on these. But um, I love these because it has it has the same appeal as Judge Dredd, but it's more psychological. Next up, we have um, Fiction Squad. Um, you know they take the um, I like fairy tales and rhymes and in this it it's not your traditional uh, story um, tales so I like what they did in this next up we have figment Um, I also did a review on these, so, um, you can go check it out too. Um, if you're, if you're looking for, like, an adventure book, this is it. You know, it, it's, it's really good. Top five comics for 2014. Um, number five is Flash. Ever since I started reading this, um, and everything that happens in the story stays on the story, um, you know, even the future's uh, end tie-in, you know, it doesn't stray from that main story. Um, next we have Inhumans. Um, what I like about this one is you know when the people get their powers um, their family members or friends or something like that think that they're freaks and they're not accepted by them but then they find people who accept them for who they are number three 
is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, I like how they took the best of all the incarnations and just stick them into a series, into these series. Next up we have Judge Dredd. Um, you know, it's fun, action-y. Uh, no, I like action-y. It's action. Fun and action. Um, the littlest thing in this book, you know, every little thing in this book is important. Um, you know, something that happens now will play a, a bigger, important role later in, later on in the issues. Number one uh, is Wonder Woman. Um, this is the best comic of the year, and it's also the biggest disappointment. You know, it was one of these, like, the, like an epic story until they left. And the writer that I'm going to tell you to keep an eye out for this, this year is Jim Zub. He's got Figment, which blew me away. He's got Wayward, which blew everybody away. And Baldur's Gate is just fun, and it's going to get better. So this year he has um, Sonya and Conan. Red Sonya and Conan. Sorry, guys. And I'm telling you guys, this is the year of Jim's Up. Keep an eye out for him. If you did like this video, please give a like up and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter at Mercy's Little Show, no W. And if you guys haven't entered my video, uh, please do so. And I thank you guys for the ones that did make a video for me for entering the contest. Love you guys. Bye!